in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can add your dollar account to your youtube adsense account so that you can receive your monthly youtube revenue but please bear in mind that before you start earning on youtube you must have 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time now we're not going to go into details about that what i'm going to show you guys in this video is how you can add your dollar account to your adsense account that is linked to your youtube channel so that you can be receiving your monthly revenue in dollars okay the money is actually paid in dollars but this is how you can add your dollar account to your adsense account so that your monthly revenue will be coming into your account automatically before you do that you must have to open a dollar account in case if you don't have a dollar account you can open a dollar account in any nigerian bank whether first bank uba zenith bank gtb any of these banks okay you can have a dollar account opening a dollar account in nigeria is quite very easy all you need is a means of identification government approved id two passport and um, maybe 50 dollar or 30 dollar and then um, your NIN is already there, so your NIN can do all that even for you, verification of ID. So that is all that is needed. Now, if you already have a dollar account and you want to put it in your AdSense account, all you need to do is walk into your bank, the bank where you have um, your dollar account, go to the customer service and tell them that you want your the switch code of the bank that you want to be receiving money from abroad into your dollar account. So they should provide you with the switch code and the intermediary bank information. All these informations are needed for you to be receiving money from your AdSense account. I've already gone to my bank. I'm using Access Bank. Okay, this is the paper I got from them. And if you go to your bank, please don't allow the customer service to write the figures for you. Why I said they should not write it is somebody can make a mistake while writing such information for you. If any number or any alphabet misses in what is written or given to you, that money might not reflect in your account. So make sure they print it from their system and give you a printed copy so that there won't be any mistake. Anybody can make mistake. I can also make mistake. You that is watching this video can make mistake. So if it's printed from their system, you will get all the information. You can also compare it with the information you get on Google. But almost all the Swift code and um, intermediary bank of all the banks are all on Google. But make sure you get it from your bank to avoid any story. So let them print it for you. Let them not write it for you. Although you can get this information from the internet, but going to your bank and getting the information now, verifying it with the one you have on the internet is better. Don't just collect any information on the internet and put it as your swift code. If not, your money won't be coming to you every month. So walk into your bank and get the information. I have my, all my information here, the swift code. The intermediary bank and everything and we're going to put it here in my assets account and save it so that i can be receiving my monthly revenue in my dollar account here in nigeria so we're going to jump into my laptop now let's go through this process let me show you where you can put all that information in your assets now let me open the browser where i have my youtube channel that is where i have um, also my blog account now open a new tab and then um, go to blogger from blogger i will now locate my assets account now blogger is coming up once you get to your blogger go to earnings once you go to earnings click on go to adsense now from here i will now enter my assets because where we're going to put all this information is in adsense okay okay we are right here in my access account i have to go to here payments click on payment and click on payment info once you click on your payment info you can see here payment account adsense nigeria your earnings zero 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 point zero zero now you have to click here and then um, you can see the second one is youtube nigeria u s dollar that's youtube and this up one is adsense so click on youtube okay and once you click on youtube your earning will appear here and um, what we're going to do now is to scroll down and then um, go to add payment method 
click on add payment method once you click on add payment method here you can see add payment method add new wire transfer details add new check details so we're going to go to add new wire transfer details click on it once you click on it all this information is going to come out as you guys can see to receive payout okay by wire transfer contact your bank for exchange rates and fee bank account must be located in nigeria and in us dollar currency so it is well spelled here beneficiary id option which is beneficiary name i think this is beneficiary name name on bank account now bank name swift code account number retype your account number after you're done with this section click on intermediary bank click on it once you click on intermediary bank you can see if your wire transfer is going to an intermediary bank it must be based in the united states intermediary bank name optional you have to put your intermediary bank name intermediary swift bic optional now ffc or fbo ask your bank this one i don't this one is not necessary so what we're going to fill is this this and then um, these ones here so i'm going to do all that and once you're done doing all that you click on save once you click on save, your bank information will now be saved in your AdSense account. Now, I am going to put all this information. I already have it here, but um, I even took the picture of this information in my phone. The dollar account, please note that the information you are putting must be dollar account because what um, YouTube and AdSense pay is true dollar, not euro. So. I have this in my phone. I'm going to compare this. I'm going to search for this online and see. The one I have on this paper is not too clear, but I cannot see just one or two numbers. I'm still guessing. So I want to now go to Google and um, type Access Bank Swift Code. Access Bank Swift Code Allow. That is A, B, okay, let me check what I have in my phone here. So all the information I have here is quite correct. So let's go over to here and put all this information and then um, click save. So once you're done filling this information, as you guys can see, I am done filling all the information. The next thing you're going to do is click on um, save, set as primary payment method. Yes, click on save. Once you click on save, this information, this bank details is going to be saved in your assets account. And um, whenever your money is coming, your monthly revenue is coming, it will come directly into your account in dollars. So guys, if this video was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're watching my video for the first time, my name is Asuki Kenna Kinsley. And on this channel, I give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant tips that helps in our daily online space. But during the weekend, I make sure I give you updates on new games and apps in the virtual reality space. So if you wouldn't want to miss any of my content, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and make sure the notification button is turned on so that you'll be the first to know once I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next video. You guys should stay creative and remain blessed.